welcome to Relax in Pain. And today I'm just going to do a fun little project and sharing with you um, some One Stroke Beauties, easy to do on a scrapbooking paper. And I love doing a different surface and a surface you can frame easily and be so creative and expensive. You could just mat it and give it to somebody for a gift. Um, and then I'm going to show you also how to put it on plexiglass. I want you to see these plexiglass surfaces um, have this film on both sides to keep the chain from scratching it and chipping. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to paint on this and put it on top of the scrapbooking paper because I have painted this a bunch on scrapbooking paper. And I'll let you see what it looks like just by laying the plastic on top of that. How's that sound? All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna have to flip the camera. When you're on here, I want you to see that um, it feels really easy to paint on this and it's a good experience to, to feel the difference of painting that way. We also are using multi-surface paints. These are folk art multi-surface and the bottles look this is the newest bottle, but they all kind of say multi-service. They, they have the glass, metal, ceramic, canvas, paper, everything that you can imagine um, you can paint on there. We also have floating medium because I use a lot of floating medium. That's the clear, and that's what's in the paint. That's the fluff that's inside the paint, okay? And so what I want to share with you is the first thing... I want to do is I'm going to dampen my three quarter inch flat brush and I'm going to pick up uh, some citrus. You can use your double loader, which really helps you control your strokes. Okay. So I'm going to come in here with these two colors, uh, bringing that pretty blue in. Okay. I can add a little bit of white. There we go. All right. Instead of the darker green, I want you to see how fun this turns out. All right, so I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to just watch this. I'm going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And I just put this scrapbooking paper behind there for you to see what it looked like if we put it on scrapbooking paper, which I have lots of samples where I have done that. All right. See, sometimes instead of green, this makes it really pretty. And then you chisel a pretty backdrop, pretty color instead of dark green and, and light green. All right. So this is, I, I'm picking up over here, ink spot. I don't use that a lot, but I've just been using it a couple times recently. And I remember how fun that color is. But this is Prussian Blue. And then I worked in some ink spot. All right, so we're going to put the hydrangea in here. And then we'll come in with some more colors. But what I want to show you is if you wanted, you could take the heat pen and write on your glass. And you want to dry this before you put the next thing on. You would come in here quickly with this heat pen because it will come right on your glass. And so when I say it's like glass, I'm painting right here on glass, like this. And the heat gun made it quick for me to put the next color on if you want to do that. All right. Now, you can also paint this reverse on the other side, which we don't need to, but you could mod podge the scrapbooking paper on the other side. Or look how fun. It just hangs on the wall. It gives you a nice look. Or you can use the suction cups and make it as, again, window curling, a window gallery glass look. This is under the surfaces on our side. And, and you can look under gallery glass sometimes for that, too. So what I want to show you is that I'm going to use my stencil brush. Now, these brushes are amazing. I have the 12, the 16, and the 3, and the 20. And what happens is that this makes it um, really easy because these are synthetic nylon. They're not those dry, hard bristles like these where they're really stiff. 
these are these are stiff but there's synthetic nylon and i've got to clean that it's stained it a little bit but i just want to show you that i'm going to pick up white and i'm going to rub it in okay and then we're just going to lay out the side view of a butterfly up here with the hydrangea and so i'm going to lay this down and come right over here watch this right here to the paper towel all right and then we're going to come right in here and all i want to use this for is a pattern all right just like if you were to draw this um, from tracing a pattern it's just so easy to put it on just like that go to the left and then go to the right okay and we lift it up and what that gives you is a very quick and easy pattern see that now when i paint that um you could decide to leave white in some of those areas or not okay so that was just a starter and that's my butterfly this one is all butterflies and i have butterflies and dragonflies on the uh, there's two different ones okay this one says butterfly one and the other one is two. Oh my gosh i just laid it in the paints it's going to get everywhere so i want you to see there's a big monarch and there's a medium monarch and then there's a smaller one and a smaller one and then this one is just a big open butterfly and here's the smaller one and then on this i also have a side view so we have multiple different side views and different uh butterflies on the second one with dragonflies all right but they're you know <laughs> i think that you'll want them both because they're so awesome all right so i'm going to come over here and the next thing that we're going to do i've cleaned out my stencil brush is i'm going to come in here with these blue tones and i'm going to take and we can make this come all the way up here kind of near the butterfly and see how the outside edge i don't want it to be solid like i don't want it this way I want you to make it so it looks like the little, when you're stroking the blossoms, they would be in and out like little petals. And so you want the edges to look like that, right? And then we're coming here. All right. And making a small one. Okay. So there you go. Now this is, I'm using... I picked up another brush that we had as a promotional QVC. So this is a 10 flat. And so I'm going to do this over with this. All right. So I'm going to pick up some white. See? And this is what we want to do. We want to go back and forth, back and forth. Or we can take the corner and sweep. See how I'm rocking my brush with my thumb? We can sweep the edges dip white sweep the edge and have little teeny um sometimes i use little q-tips all together with a rubber band y'all might have seen me do that but i'm gonna go all around the edges so it looks like little bits of of strokes are back there and then what you're going to do sweep 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 okay all around the edges there we go and then i'm going to pick up more paint and slip slap slip slap slip slap and as you're picking up wet paint you're going to get all kinds of variations of color from very light blue to a little bit darker blue okay a little bit more okay and then what i can do also is while that's wet, I wipe this off and pick up some magenta with white because it's going to be in the butterfly. And when you do this, you get a purple tone kind of. See that? And I want to like a crescent moon. Can you see that? See that shape? With a little bit of white in there. A little bit all the way around okay now let's come in here and let's pick some pink up in here so i kind of put it if the light's hitting this the pink's going to be in the same location 
So, all right, now I'm going to pick up the blue and white. And we do the same thing, a little sweeping of the corner. So see a rocket, rocket, rocket in my hand. Sweep, sweep, sweep. A little bit more because it's little. It's okay for this to look a little smaller. All right, so you're picking up the blue and you're going into wet white. Okay, so does that do it? Now, what I want you to see in here is I really want more white to separate. So this looks like it's in the back and this is in, in front. All right, so we're going to have a white glow right there. Okay, just so, so you see a separation. And actually, you can put the white glow here, too, because that means the light's hitting it over there a little bit more. Okay, isn't that kind of fun? All right, now I am going to put some little leaves, which I want a smaller brush, so I'm going to get my eight. All right, so I dampen it, lay it on the paper towel. And then what I want you to see is that I am picking up just some of the ink spot. All right, so we're going to come right here. All right. It slips a little bit on the glass. That makes it nice. Okay, let's make a point, push, lift, and slide into it. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is pick up a little bit more, and we're going to come right here. Now this is Russian, that darker blue, and then here's some more of the ink spot. See how they're a little bit darker there so it stands out? Okay, and a little bit here. Now what I want you to see, see how pretty that looks with the background too? I have the background in there. I want you to see that when I'm doing this, I can make these little guys come here on top of the leaf a little bit, but I want to put a little bit of purple. So here's dioxazine purple and wicker white. Now I'm going to put some purple in the butterfly. So this is fun to come in here. A little bit darker. I had too much white in it. There we go. A little bit in here. There we go. So please, if you haven't subscribed and you just happen to fall upon this, this class, this painting I'm doing with you, I teach people who've never painted it before to be able to paint. And on Fridays, if you're a newbie, on Fridays is relax, I mean, practice strokes. And practice strokes teach you, like, say, I want to do that big leaf. Then you go to my practice stro stroke section and say, I want a heart leaf. And it takes you step by step as a beginner on how to load that. Okay, so I'm going to come right here because I can turn it around a little bit. People always ask, can, can I pick it up or can I move it? You absolutely can. So I want you to see this and I want you to turn it so it's comfortable for you. If you're a lefty or a righty and you don't feel comfortable, I want you to pick it up and try it like I'm sharing with you. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that kind of fun? Um, I am going to put some curly cues in here. Uh, where is my script liner? There we go. All right. So I can get some crush in with a little bit of citrus. You don't want too much water. This is the only time we use water is when we use a script liner. But the problem is, oops. Oh, this is what's good about plexi plexiglass is that you can take it off and put it back on if you want. Uh, there we go. And you can also wipe off spots. I can take um, a dry brush 
And I don't like how that turned out, so I can just lift it off. See that? And clean it. So I, I share with you how to do tips and tricks. There we go. And I can come right here and put it back in there. There we go. All right. So, so now what's fun is that if you are on a wall that's a colored wall in your house, this pops so pretty on whatever wallpaper or uh, color that you have. Okay. So let's, let's do the butterfly now. All right. And be sure to sign your piece. I love sharing with you how fun this is because we're going to go right on here and I'm going to pick up some white and I've got, this is probably my 12. Okay. 12 flats. I use a lot of flats. Now I, I didn't even worry about this uh, being uh, wet or not, but if it was wet, this blends really well, but I wanted to go ahead and do my other painting first. So I want you to see, you're just going to go on top of these strokes. I mean, the little segments. Now I can just do this segment and then come back and use another color for the next piece. Now this is going to go on top. So what I've got to do is let's pick up some more white and put that one right on top. See that? All right. Then I can pick up more white. And look at this. I can go one, one, two, three. All right. So you can make this any way you want, but see, there's a segment there. Like I can just paint over this whole thing or just paint the little segments that I divided up in the wings for you. All right. So what I'm going to do now is show you that we can take and do white, white, white. See how I'm just put all these little designs in here. Okay, we can do this one coming in here. All right, and then what I did is we don't have to spend a lot of time doing fancy dots and stuff, but we can. But we can also come in here with this purple. This is dioxazine purple, and I'm using the chisel edge of this eight. And I'm going to come right in here and make some darkness right here. But that's actually chiseled with just straight dioxazine purple. But I want you to see how the purple leaves make this all pull together. All right. So just little dots. Right now, there's two things. You can put yellow dots. You can do different dots. I can also put purple here, which makes it look like it's almost black. And I can do one here or make it an oval with the handle. All right. And do one right here. I'm trying not to hit the wet paint. So you might want to do this after you finish and it's all dry. All right. So think about that. And... Okay, now I'm going to, I usually use licorice, but I'm going to go ahead and pull the, use a two script liner again, and I'm just going to use purple, um, like, like the black, because it's so dark, but here's the body, there's his head, there's his body, and then we can do the tail, kind of, then we can take and go one, two, three, and one, two, three, and do the antennas. But everything's already there for you. So one thing I like to do is put a little bit of white, a little bit of white, and pull that body there. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed that today. So please subscribe. Please check out our One Stroke Advantage membership, and it gets you 20% off all your orders on onestroke.com. And I have got all this free for you, and then I have lots of others that just cost 
um, a little bit less than $10, you can get full length, long lessons teaching you step by step how to do lots of one stroke fun painting. So come check us out. And, and when you hit join, well, when you hit subscribe, you is going to, and you can ring a bell so that you see whenever I have new on, you can um, then go and hit join and just kind of find out the details of our membership, our cleaning membership. So come check us out. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.